All right, day two in the books. Mm. Raining still. Of course. <laughs> Travis Green, happy. Very. Uh, Jake Rattanen, Tyler Motts. Who, who impressed you out there today? Well, the scrimmage was interesting. I thought the guys who needed to show us something did. Tyler Mott scored a goal. I had him down for three hits. Not Including Jake. one on Jake. Jake wasn't happy. No. Nope. Waved a stick at him. Connected. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know what Jay Beagle is uh, drinking, but I'll take a case of it. You know, this guy talked about his fitness and how good he was in the bag skate the other day. He, they had the puck on the string. Yeah. Yeah. They couldn't catch him. Yeah. So there's an interesting development. And uh, my big takeaway today is I feel like I should be signing up for some online course tonight after talking to Thatcher Demko today. Smart who, kid. As you know, studies human performance, psychology, just for something to do. Goes to Boston College every summer to finish up all these degrees. He's taking a course right now. And uh, I feel really, I, I feel weak. I feel like I'm really intellectually handicapped. <laughs> But a good, uh, good yeah. development there, a good story coming up in the province, how Thatcher Demko's rationalizing yeah. it all, the fact that he could very well compete for the backup job here, but he needs to play games. How does yeah. he balance yeah. that out between Vancouver and Utica? So, so watch for that. What about you? I mean, yeah, I'm, talk I'm talking to Eric yeah. and talking to Dallin about their fun little yeah. story, but it, it's more that I'm, it is interesting. We're seeing some coalescing of like how the lineups, we're already seeing guys being bumped down to the HL so you can see where things are happening. Yeah. Um, you know, there's John Dallin, I think, is still showing well. I mean, he's got a lot to show if he's going to make the lineup. Uh, guy that might be a good fit with Elias Pedersen that needs some scoring. Well, there. the interesting thing, too, with, with Roussel being out with a concussion and the fact he's got yeah. to go through the protocol, that's yeah. a seven-day absence, and then the baseline testing again. Personally, I look at Jonathan Dallin, in my books, as maybe a third-line left yeah. winger. Uh, insulate him, get him into that transition game, understanding what he has to do on both sides of the puck. I'm really anxious to see him in the preseason because, man, he's got a release. Travis Green yesterday forgot some of the names he wanted to single out, but today oh. he brought up Elias Pettersson's work in the scrimmage. He said he was pretty happy with Pettersson line. So, you know what? He tried him at center, played him at center, saw him take a draw right in front of me. You know, I mean, that's that's part of the game. I think Pettersson looks like he can handle. He's talked a bit about the pace yeah. of the game. Well, the interesting thing for him is his play away from the puck. Yeah. Can he process? He doesn't have to be like... Um, aggressive defensively, yeah. just be able to be smart enough. Yeah. There was a guy named Wayne Gretzky who was pretty slippery, never got hit. I think there's something in Pedersen's game, being able to avoid contact. We know that's a it's a monster down the middle in this division, but boy, if he can just be smart in his own zone, the stuff he can do offensively, he can't teach, and that's that's why we're all pretty pretty, pretty, pretty you, jacked about the kid. Did you just compare Elias Pedersen to Wayne Gretzky? Well, we compare Quinn Hughes to, wasn't it, uh, Bobby, Bobby, Orr, no, Bobby Orr, got Bobby a Bobby Orr. Orr reference earlier this year, so no pressure, kid. All right, folks. Change your, neighbor, num change your number to number 99.